Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In today's video, we will talk about a new feature launched by AWS in reInvent 2022, which is a failover control for Amazon S3 multi-region access point. Last year during reInvent, Amazon launched S3 multi-region access points, which we covered in detail in our earlier YouTube video. And I will provide the link of that video in the description below. So you can go ahead and watch that video before watching this one. So in this video, we'll touch bit very quickly on the what is S3 multi-region access points and then we'll uh, go in detail about the failover controls. So talking about S3 multi-region access point, S3 multi-region access point provide a global endpoint for routing Amazon S3 traffic between AWS regions. So you can set up your S3 buckets in different regions like here I'm showing that you have in S3 in US East 1, West 2 and AP South 1 and you can define the replication between these three buckets. So if any data is added in one of the bucket, will get replicated to the other buckets as well. And you will get a, when you define the region access point, you will get a global endpoint, which you can use in your application. Behind the scene, when you make a request to this global endpoint, Amazon behind the scene will find out which bucket or which region is the lowest latency and send all your requests to that particular region. So advantage of this was like kind of you have get very low latency when you're reading these subjects from this S3 bucket. Another thing is if one of the region goes down, then it automatically automatically fall you to a different region where it has the lowest latency. One of the thing you need to keep in mind that all this bucket has to be active and all the data need to be in standard storage. So your cost of keeping the storage in all these regions will be pretty high because all the you cannot move the data in the cold storage. But another drawback of this feature was that you don't have any routing control. You cannot decide that which region you want to send your request because it's all handled by AWS. What happened that if one of the region goes down, AWS handled internally and it routes all your traffic to a different region with the lowest latency. So this was kind of very high level, uh, what was the multi-region access point. So with failover control, with this new feature, it give you capability to control to which region you want to send your traffic. In addition to that, it also give you capability to that in which region you want to fail over. So suppose you have uh, any traffic destruction in US East 1, then you can choose that instead of going automatically to any region, you can choose that which region you want to fall back and you want to send your traffic to. So what you need to do to do the failover control once you add your buckets after that you need to define that which buckets or which regions you want to keep active and which regions you want to keep at passive so at least one of the regions should be active so that all the requests can go to that particular active region and once you have failover you can define that which another region you now you want to promote as active and the one which is active will become the passive so i'll show you in a demo that how that works so what are the advantages here one thing you get routing control, you can control that where your traffic will go, right, to which region. Second, you can, can do the manual failover. So instead of having the automatic failover, you can decide that if one region goes down, then all your requests should go to what other region. The third thing is like, which is very crucial here is that lower storage cost. So if you need to keep all the buckets active, then your storage or your objects need to be in your hot storage or the upper environments. But with this passive environment or passive buckets, you can move your data to your lower um, storage. Like you can use intelligent tiering, which can move data to your lower storage. And once you need it, it can move it back. So that will save you to, that will help you to save the money as well. Next, let's go to the console and we'll walk you through that from where you can mark these buckets as active passive and how you can do the failover. Okay, so I have logged in into my AWS console and under Amazon S3, you will find multi-region access point on your uh, this console. So I have two of these multi-region access point created. So let's open the test one. And under that, you see that I have three buckets in different region and we can go to replication and failover. So if you see my earlier video, it was only replication. Now this new feature failover is introduced. We'll go to replication and failover. Here you can see the con failover configuration. Earlier this particular feature was not there. 
So right now you see my one of the bucket is in active and other two are in passive mode. So if I need to change this active passive, what I can do, I can select these buckets and I can do edit routing status. And there I can define that which bucket I want to keep it active and which bucket I want to keep it passive. So one thing you have to have at least one active bucket. You cannot have all of them passive. But if you want, you can have at least two bucket or all the buckets as active. But if you keep all the buckets as active, that means there's no failover. It's just without the failover control, you're using it. So uh, you can have uh, two active, one passive, or you can have one active, two passive. So at least one active should be there and one passive would suggest should be there if you want to use the failover control. So suppose we'll go with this one active, two passive. Let's save it. Uh, after that, what will happen that if my AP South one region has some issue, if if this region goes down or have a traffic disruption, so you can fail it over to either US East one or US East two. So how to do that? You will select the active one and where you want to fail it over. So suppose you want to fail it over to US East one, you select that bucket, click on failover, and then you can click on failover. So it can take up to two minutes. And after that, the, all the new traffic will be routed to your redirected region so it can take some time so keep in mind so whenever you're doing it so all the traffic which is going to your old region will be redirected to the new region and it can take up to two minutes so let's do the failover and you see now this is active this is passive but behind the scene it may take a few more seconds to complete that and after that your all the requests will start going to your uh, ep south oh sorry us east one region so that's how you can uh, edit your routing status or you can make buckets active passive and this is how you can do the failover other than that all the concept of replication rules and everything remains same there is nothing changing this is the only feature they have added to where you provide control and how you can fail over between these buckets so hope you uh, learned something new today and uh, like this video please hit the like button if you enjoy the content and please do share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.